Good afternoon, my name is TF2 Public Ferret and my server Prime. And today we're in the map CP Croissant. Uh, apparently, quite a few guys haven't seen this map ever, but apparently it's on the comp scene a bit and a few other videos. It's one of the more favoured um, uh, custom maps in the game at the moment. Anyway, today, teams are filling out nicely. A little bit of lag here and there. A lot of people don't know this map. A lot of people are getting lost. This should make for an interesting game. And immediately the scout window is open, and looks like red team has moved in straight away. Unfortunately, my fast has already moved straight into a flamethrower in the face, and red team immediately take the point. It's looking good for red team, looking bad for blue team. There's some hint of you know something going on on the second point. I think white lightning there is holding the line. Anyway, though, 9 minutes 44, let's see what's going on in the teams here. Well, it looks like, you know, nobody's on to a flying start yet, although, you know, red team has been making a massive advance. Now, I have to say this, I haven't really played this map ever. Uh, I may reload it and I've started commentating on it. And uh, in I really like the looks of this. I will tell you now, this looks like a backburner pyro's wet dream. All these little tunnels, caves and everything. There, there is so much opportunity, and Spire's going to love it too as well. I mean, you know, also heavies. This is a close range brawl of some map, because it moves towards the end segment, where it gets a little bit more open. But this middle section is beautiful. Beautiful mess of caves and ramps and whatnot. Now, I think this is going to be a little bit of a mini century heaven here for the time being. I'm not sure what's going on, so it'd be nice to watch, see what happens. Uh, the other thing that's very confusing with this map is what is actually uh, terrain, what is actually playable ground. Um, you know, if you see a, if you see a um, ramp or something, yeah, you can go up it. I mean, there's actually a ton of little nooks and crannies around here. I mean, this is a map I would like to play. Dr. Fobisha Fanning, immediately move on to the point. It's looking good. 8 minutes 24, and from the looks at blue teams on the back foot, but not really. I think both teams are still kind of, you know, cutting their teeth on this map. And there goes Harry the Stingray, using by power of levitation juice, or levitation gun. Oh no, oh ooh, dear. Wow. Man, blue team were not letting him get away. For some reason they decided to hound him down and make sure he couldn't do anything in the rear end. For whatever reason he might be doing there. Orihara Izuaya there, um, moving up nicely, I think taking the path of the sneaky heavy, path of the sandwich heavy. Unfa on fire but unfazed, and moving up nice. I think this is where, you know, heavies are going to really, really work in this map. Given a couple of Ubers and stuff, they should be able to take on things at very good, very easily at close range. This is going to be a very close range map, but this is not really a snuff map unless you're using Huntsman. There goes, okay, some step from the sentry there, and oh, back burner from base squirrel. That's how you take out a fat man when you need to. Oh, a bit of lag here and there. Oh, god dear, horrendous lag. Oh, god dear, what is happening? Maybe this map is too big for this server, I don't know. Um, it's not looking good. Uh, apologies. Maybe there's something going on with the mods. I might need to um, cut the trim the server down. Maybe get a bit fat and eating too many uh, sandwiches or something. That <laughs> it's communism. Oh, really? Now, in any case, red team on the middle there. Blue team still moving at six minutes thirteen. No team has really decided to get the grip so far. Well, actually, yeah, blue, red have been trying to move, man. Looks like blue is now going the counter effect here. And base squirrel there, nearly burning the Frobisher fanning, and just about gets it nicely done. That is how you backburn. Oh, -ho, trying to get in on a uh, vet leaps there. Not, you know, that's you know a bit of a backburn opportunity right there. What it? General Whiteshirt, were you seriously trying to take down a, a heavy with a wrench? I mean, that's prime bravery right there, but jeez, man. Oh, and what's this? Race caps. Hmm. Now, midpoint's taken. 
Red team managing to take it back just before you know, blue team could go for the second point. So it looks like you know, shoes on the other foot right now. And oh, nice work there from fast though. Zaps the sentry and takes down the engineer. Mazmic there, not really helping out. And well, he didn't have a home wrecker, unfortunately. Oh, thank you very much, Vet Leaks. And if you're interested, please go to my YouTube channel, which is uh, TF2 Public Ferret. Uh, here's the URL if you need it. And, you know, this should uh, will be recorded, uploaded to the channel by tomorrow morning. I uh, hope you like it, sir. I will do anything to plug this channel and get more subscribers. I will uh, horribly admit that right now. Now, in any case, oh, unlucky there. Um, Oki there, going for that opportunistic stabs. Just missing all the fat men right now. Oh, God, jumping out in front of the fat man isn't good either. We're making a comeback. By comeback, Fabulous Rug is wandering around the point, trying to cap it, looking out for danger. And Blue have that back. Nicely done. What, the map? The lag? Oh, I'm sorry, Doctor. And Red's immediately on the comeback here. <laughs> oh, it's kind of nice that you're quite, you know, tolerant of the lag and that you just hate the map completely. I mean, that's kind of not my fault. Maybe it's going to become another, you know, hydro or, uh, dare I say, pipeline. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't base a tourney around this map. I don't know. Now, in any case, the the uh, map, the the game for middle right now is getting quite tense. And the thing is, yeah, I think heavies are doing really well, but the spies are doing even better right now. This is not looking good for them. And I think it's actually the other thing I do see with this map is it's not a very jumpy map. It's actually very cluttered air-wise, and actually it mostly is un, un subterranean. But it's like somebody t somebody saw like a pretzel and thought, you know what, that looks like a good map design. Let's make it bigger and put braids in it. And you've now got an interconnecting set of caves and tunnels and yeah, that's what's happening with this. Well, to be fair, it is bread related. It is shaped in that kind of thing. Maybe maybe bread is the divine inspiration for this map. At the moment, though, Red Team's making, keep trying to keep hold of this. Uh, Fabulous Rug there, battling a sentry, losing against the sentry. But Red Team's about holding this. Now, what can you do for back capping here? Well, either team could put in, you know, well, in case of Red, Blue Team have got to push in and simply overthrow that. For Red Team, they want, might want to consider some commando work. Maybe some dedicated spies, maybe some scouts in on that. If you panic Blue Team enough, make them contract, you might be able to get away with it. Uh oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> Fasto! Yeah, I'll just set this teleport. I'll just set this sentry. And I better say, uh oh, wait, no. He's too, he's too, he's too invulnerable. Shit. <laughs> nice work there from, uh, Party Martin. Almost a round winning kill. Sorry, Alto, am I screaming too much? I didn't think my voice was that high or shrill. Uh, oh, okay. Well, as, as I said before, you can use mute function other people. Doesn't have to be me. I'm helping. Now, in any case, seven minutes on the clock here. Uh, Red is still holding that middle ground. They haven't really thought to advance yet. Blue is keeping up the pressure quite a lot. But can you get to that cap? Well, there are numerous ways. I mean, um, actually, if you look right to the very edge of the map, you will find a uh, set of crates with two sets of ladders on it. You can kind of approach the uh, point from the rear, as it were. Now, if you know what you're doing, and maybe with a bit of luck, you can get that down. Why not? And then nice sentry placement. It's actually covering a lot of entrances and exits. However, of course, I don't think it's entirely got the underground passages. Not entirely. Eddie, how did you get there? Oh, Zy nice work from Zydran. 
but he is desperately, desperately on fire. Oh, thank you, 120 subs. Well, it's coming back up again. It was you, 120 subs, but I'm paying attrition lately. I mean, please, uh, tell your friends, tell them to come on here, tell them to sub my channel, and enjoy the games. I desperately need more people to join in. God. Oh, lovely stab there from Oki. This is the thing, spies right now are at... The thing is, we got people saying, too many heavies, too many spies, too many pyros. This is, this is the problem. This is a map for all of them. Okay, what class could really fix this situation? Hmm, well, scouts aren't... Scouts can get to a point... Demo Man, actually. To be fair, this actually could be a reasonable Demo Man map. And some of you have expressed some sort of liking for the Scottish Resistance. You never know, it might actually see a lot of use here with a lot of cramped passages. <laughs> the stabbings continue. And there goes Harry the St Harry the Stingray doing his thing. Oh, you beautiful bastard! You taking out the entrance teleporter and running away. Oh, you're doing you're doing God's work, Gaben's work there. Oh, until the mini sentry finds you and kills you, along with friends. But yeah, that does help actually. Take out his entrances. Uh, you know, engineers don't like it when that happens. And lovely weather from Effin takes down that sentry. Now does the red team ever stand a chance of moving up? Not looking good for blue, they're feeling a little bit pressurized now. Oh, they ran out of Uber, that was a bad time to la run out of Uber. The red team are trying to continue this push. They are not giving up this hard run ground. And there goes the point. Times two on the cap. Lazy mode on there, he's been battled by white lightning. Now, can Red Team get a move on here? Can they push past the Blue Team? Oh, wow, Loyalist, you must be new, man. Uh, congratulations. Now, from the looks of it, like Blue remains to regain the ground. Red needs to really push in here or kind of do something. And from the looks of it, Blue Team decided to do something back. Uh, although I think that was a uh, unfortunate pyro there more than anything. But to be fair, something needs to happen. In the three minutes entering up the clock here, we may see the male state once more. Dr. Frobisher Fanny Mean juggle around, throwing a sandwich. Oh, that's beautiful sandwich work there. And then punishes the offending soldier. And uh, Captain Unicorn there, going moving forward with Pinky there, trying to take out all the opposition. Alto, I think, is having a nervous breakdown or a heart failure. Not sure what's happening. I think I'm beginning to think this map's too competitive in some ways. It's not really meant for 32 guys to go roaming around and hunt each other down. It's a little bit too compact, maybe. Um, but I think, however, with some coordination and maybe learning, you might guys might be able to get, get to grips with it. Oh, nice there from Tom. Just captures Unicorn. Oh, there's a crit stun direct hit there. Now, the thing with Blue Team, they actually managed to retake the ground quite nicely. Uh, there's no more sentries, though. But they're holding it. I think, you know, 
Red Team, if they want to get somewhere, they're going to need to do a massive backhander here. Um, they need to wipe out Blue Team and get an advance going again. I think the medics are really helping out here. The problem is, again, uh, lack of medics. Uh, this is the big problem with either team. I think the team that's got the most medics is going to win this. Oh, what a name. Corgi Storm. Man, I don't know if that's cute as all hell or badass. It's kind of both. It's like a badass cute man. Kid sec there trying to fix the problem. And, oh yes, nicely done. Okay, blue team's trying to take middle. 44 seconds on the clock here. Are they going to, you know, make sure this doesn't go into stalemate here? Although red team is capping back. Who's going to win this? Are red team going to take second? Are blue going to take middle? And looks like Dr. Frobisher finding out one man's war versus the entire blue team. Fails dramatically as Demon Man kills him. And looks like blue going to take middle. There it goes. Now reverts male state. And oh, whoa, 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 what is this? And looks like some action on the la on the second to last point there. Something is going on. Altor trying to fix the scout problem. Peace, are you being useless again? Please don't be useless, okay, man, or you'll get kicked over, right? It's and please don't try and grief. Oh dear. Uh player command, slow player. There you go. Um Now, in any case. Okay, middle point is... You know, still overrun with blue for the time being. Red are trying to take it back. And it looks like they're having problems actually keeping the back, back cavalry. Definitely moving up. Bram Mulvick is moving up in continuous annoying ways. Uh, I have seen some of your stabs, man. The thing is, as again, as a spy, it's really hard for, you to, for me to say, oh, look at the excellent stab work, because it's I don't want to blow your cover. But don't worry, man, they're recorded. You'll see them up on the thingy, okay? It's like I can't give away sniper location where they get good shot. It's you, things like that. Okay, sorry, PC, you weren't useless. Uh, I kind of I, I got lost in the map. I forgot this was not the right area. Oh, oh, here we go. Uh, and oh, what's this? Blue team making a push for second. There goes uh, indestructible man. It's not looking good here. Um, sorry about that earlier piece as well. I thought you was being used as you actually weren't. And oh dear. Oh, what's this? Oh, fabulous rug! They're going for second. Looks like blue team is on the push. They're really trying to get this game over and done with now. Red team are having a real handful of time now that blue team's learned how the map works. Is it me, or does this side of the map seem sunnier to you? You see important things. There's Fasto. Oh, unlucky there, Fasto. Double unlucky, Fasto. Now, the like blue team's having a little bit of problem here, but I think that admin's a little bit more perkier. They've got guy, more engineers going towards the front lines and stuff, and they are just generally pushing up. Piece there. Wow. Nearly clobbered a uh, vet leaks there. Ooh, looks like red team is going for the middle. 
They'll be taking their old ground. And oh dear god, no. Blue, red team have moved back. And there it goes. Now, can they get a move on with this? We've seen nobody get to a last point yet. Nobody taking a second yet. Oh no, Tom. Oh no. That was a lovely back cap attempt there. Didn't see the pyro. Unlucky. Now, in any case, there's Orihara Isaiah there. And oh, there's an Uber on the point. Can Red use this? It's looking good. Red team on the move. And just so you guys, if you don't want to hear somebody and all just tell me write anything, please remember you can mute them and their text won't appear. And look at this. Oh my god, two to two. One pirate is stopping that thing going down. Can blue who's gonna cap this first? Oh dear. Oh! oh no! Red team take it back. <laughs> blue team taking it back, and red team going straight back for it immediately, see if they can recover the damage. But oh dear, that was nearly a second point cap there and completely ruined there. It does seem as if one team, you know, when they go for a cap, the other team goes for a cap at the same time. It seems like the weirdest thing I do find in these kind of maps. That was a lot of effort there. All gone to waste. All missed. All that missed opportunity. Uh, but please, guys, feel free to say um, what we'll do. We we'll change the map afterwards, see what's going on. If it's not so laggy, we will put it down to the map. Because if you feel if you feel that strongly about it, I can take this map off rotation, and then uh, we won't come to this again because it might be too laggy. <laughs> oh, Altor. Looks like Zydran's getting some interesting kills in. Oh, this is like making a move. It's looking reasonable. And there's a sentry there. I think the jar of piss was necessary, and oh, it's looking good. Red team again on the move. Time's still on the cap. Can they keep this thing open? Times five. Can they get it going? The lag is real. And there it goes. Okay. Red team are finally in the driving seat. Can they get to last? Do you even know where last is? And yeah, it looks like red team has adopted the heavy, heavy strat. Oh dear God, that sentry was never going to survive. <laughs> oh no, white lightning there. The heavy is the heavy is real, and that that oh no no second point's getting taken back after all this time, <laughs> and blue team just stole second. Now can red team take get it back and keep this on on track? Times four. Okay, can they get back to, get back to capping last? I don't know. It's been some disastrous back caps this game. And ooh. So Blue are trying to take back the second. Will Red let them? Oh, oh no, Zydran. Ooh. <laughs> Survivor. And no. Uh, that's my fault there. I, I noticed it. I, I blabbed it. And he caught on. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Tom can't seem to understand how railings work. Always having a problem with fire too. And oh dear, looks like blue are coming right the way back. Loyalist on that nice back cap from Loyalist. The control point is being captured. But it looks like middle's getting taken. Zydran's back on that. Now have blue team managed to, you know, take back second properly? Well it looks like they have. And, oh, nope, there goes Scar. This is going a lot more backwards and forwards here right now. Both teams are a bit uncertain of where the front line is. And this is, you know, lovely, lovely territory to be in. 
Oh, the blue team's moving up on mid. They're feeling confident, they're feeling strong. Captain Unicorn, one man army, trying his best. Get kind of burnt, but the rest of the team is holding up. Can Rabbit Collie do it? No, he can't. Oh no, there's a race of second, but what's happening on middle here? And middle takes it. Oh, blue just takes their middle point. Now, can they move on to the other second? Well, this is the problem. Right now, this is just weirdness happening. No team can hold down a point. Where are the engineers? I don't know. Nobody's put up a big sentry right yet, and that's managed to hold for two minutes. Oh, what is this? The loyalists then. Nice work. I'm loving that back capery. I mean, that's that... That's what his blue team needs. They need to get behind. Oh, okay. And back Christina there. Like, ooh, no, I don't want to get near that. Kid sec. Back Christina once more save. Oy. I think your unlucky streak has broken and you actually got a lucky streak running. You've averted death so many times now. Although one scout. Oh jeez. Seriously, Christina, you are somehow managing to survive despite the odds. I mean this is this lovely medic work actually. You know you know when to back off and not actually into medic battle medic mode. Okay, Pinky. Clean up your PC. Maybe get a restart. I hope for the best, man. Harry, are you complaining of the lack of crits? This is a weird and unique argument that nobody's going to have sympathy for, but you know, you know that, right? <laughs> I didn't get a single crit. Well, boo-hoo, locker. That's the that's gonna be the general tone of the reply. <laughs> right now the um I don't know how long this game's going on for. I mean it's recording the entire time and uh you usually have a break or something. Uh I hope this really doesn't bugger up in terms of recording. Now from the looks of it. Looks like, yeah, okay, looks like the action is now firmly on, uh, you know, red team defending, although some jamminess going on. I say some. Hmm. Interesting developments, ahoy. No, uh, you can't go that way, Altor. Yes, some very interesting shenanigans going on. I don't think it's worse than 2 4. The thing with 2 4 is that it causes stalemates because of bad map design in terms of how constrictive it is. This is constrictive, but it's got plenty of flank routes. Oh no, Edge. I think you took to the water and died. Base girl there, trying to hold his ground. Yeah, this is anything but NG Nest Heaven. Oh, oh no, Dr. Frofisher fan dies from fall damage after all that. Right now, we're a strange engineer versus engineer contest going on. Um, strange in that one team is trying to do... Oh dear. Uh, peace. Uh, oh. Peace is finding brand new territory to try and get around. Is this some sort of like pro flank strat EU? Answer on a postcard, please. And you are stuck. This is actually not with a finalized map, this is only the RC3. Into the water you go, man. Time for suicide. You know it's for the best. Alert. The control point is being captured. Seems there's some shenanigans going on somewhere. What about something I'm having on middle point? 
And remember guys, it's not the KD ratio that counts, it's the POT, the points over time. Because points account for things like capping, healing, extinguishing, taking down Ubers, just generally trolling as well. Five minutes four. Red team are holding that area fast. Now this is the thing I haven't seen a really good Uber yet from Blue team. To be fair, Blue team and Red team slightly more, slightly less need more medics. This is the thing we haven't seen so much is a uh, lack of medicry. Oh, that ain't good. And they found that teleporter. Personally, I'd try and hide it away somewhere a little bit less conspicuous. Perhaps like um, Red Spawn, for example. That's less conspicuous. They wouldn't think to look for a teleporter there. Four minutes twenty-five. Fight goes on. Both teams feeling exhausted. Apathetic, annoyed, pissed off with heavies, pissed off with spies, pissed off with pyros. We might see. A, I might see a small rebellion on the um, on the uh, forums here, but that will happen. And this is why we don't play pipeline anymore. And there, uh, and, and to be fair, I think I'm going to create a small civil war about bringing up the topic of hydro. To be fair, this is going to be an incredibly hard map to... Uh, no nominate for you. Communism's engaged. And just to make sure, there we go. Uh, no more nominations from you. I have taken away your freedoms. You're stuck on this map. I'll rename this map from Croissant to Gulag 1. Now, in any case, 3 minutes 8 on the clock. Blue team are kind of trying to find a way into the second point. But again, we need we need to see the medics. More medicry. Now, I think we've actually read they've got lovely sentry emplacements here and there. They're doing a bang-up job. Party might in there, running away. Oh, that's some lovely, lovely back, back scuntery. Where's he going? Nobody knows. Oh, that's lovely trolling right there. Unfortunately, he met with a back burner. Now, blue team feels somewhat emboldened, uh, red team's feeling somewhat uh, lo in length in supply lines, but, you know, this is the problem. Blue team hasn't got... Did you just crit up a Widowmaker engineer? You crazy man, you! Who has so far managed to get no kills. Hmm. <laughs> Fabulous Rug is not pleased. <laughs> As I said, guys, if it's something you don't like or want to hear in any server, you can mute to them and you actually won't see any text that comes up or their voice. So if you want to do that, that would help. Now, in any case, back to the game. Our Altor once more burnt, left alone, and Blue's only medic destroyed again. This is the problem. Neither of you guys are investing heavily in medics. We're seeing a lot of investment in spies. Red team, what are you doing? Oh, God. And it looks like Red team are going to force this not to be a male state again. And the game continues on for another 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the loyalist there trying to hold his point. How is he trying to retake it? Look, at the blue come immediately back. Oh wow! That 
Demo Man kills all over the shop. Now, can Red Team consolidate this area? Nice stab there from Mean Bear. Spar in my sandwich. Oh, nice bit of clobbery there. Oh, and unfortunately, not enough clobber. Now, Red Team is is in the ascendancy. They have middle point. They do need to fortify at some point. Maybe get their engineers moved up. Uh, what they do need to think about is taking second. Now, the thing Blue Team is they're going to start putting up their own engineers and things like that. You might want to get that kind of thing out the way first. See you later, Fabulous Frog. Ah, uh, unlucky. It's not looking good. This is still round one. Red team is now on the offensive. Again, I think the thing, front thing we're seeing here is a lack of medicry. I mean, if we saw three decent medics emerge from a team, um, that might really help. And there goes one medic. Burning everything. Okay, look at Red up. Back in the driving seat. I don't know yet. I haven't seen the times. Um, times three on the cap. Times four. Okay, Red can go for last point. It's the best advance we've seen so far in this game. They come back from second. Go to middle. They're, they're going to last. Dr. Frobisher Fanning is ignoring that, that sniper by burning him. Bravery on a stick. He's going straight for last. Now... What are Blue Team up to? That? Do they defend the last point? Do they go for second? Do they say fair enough, done, and call it a day? A oh, nice Safari there, trying to get rid of that sentry. White Lightning there is kind of slightly struggling. Slightly not struggling. Thing is, now that, you know, will Red Team kind of fit where sentry is and know what to do with it? That's an actually nice thing with actually this map. You guys don't really know it so well, and you've got to figure out where the sentry positions are. Uh, and that forces the other teams to also figure out where the sentries are. Red team is... Yeah, they're getting better. They actually got a lot of dom counts. Well, and actually, uh, for the time being, Oki is winning most doms EU award. So they're doing well with that. Well, he's doing well with that. In terms of most unluckiness, uh, Dr. Frobisher Fanning, in terms of being stabbed in the back so many times, uh, he, he might get that award pretty damn well. Now remember, there is a vast grotto of underground goodies down there for you guys to find. Uh, unfortunately, that's very hard to, you know, um, do. I mean, I, I've seen you guys roughly play, so that's what I can do. Say, you unluckiest player, are you? Now, what is happening on second point? Well, it looks like Red Team has stronkified it a little. They have something going. Interesting there from General White Shirt. Nicely done. And uh, oh, what is this? There's some attempt there, and shot out the scar with Dr. Frobisher Fanning. He ain't having that. Oh, unlucky there, Altor. Did not see the sentry. Took a rocket to the face. I'm beginning to think Altor is also competing for unluckiest player EU award as well as Dr. Frobisher Fanning. Both of them are really competing hard here. Maybe they should tag team up. And oh, what is this? They're going to be finally going to enter this game. And Red Team finally wins this game. Excellent work there from Red. Anyway, guys, that's what I have time for for today. That was an impressive one-segment, 40-round video. Uh, there was nothing else I could do to do subdivide it. That's going to be one of the easiest edits for me to do tonight. I just simply start, finish, done. Right, okay, up to you, Tubbs. Um, but, yeah, I think you guys kind of... Uh, to say you guys enjoy this map would be interesting. Um, some of you did, some of you didn't. And, actually... Um, I don't know if you guys want it out of the rotation. Please go to the you know uh, Steam group forums discussions and say if you want this taken out. Discuss it between yourselves. If basically the mood is you hate this map as much as Pipeline, 
I'll remove it. But overall, though, I think the pirates and heavies and the spies had a lot of fun today. Or frustration depends on who you're playing and what class. Well, I will say one thing though: it's nice to see you guys being having to use a lot more ingenuity rather than know where the formulaic placements are. And there's a you know big dom count today. But anyway, getting more to the relevant stuff. I think uh, most doms EU is going to be shared by Bat, Christina, and Oki today with four each. Uh, and unluckiest player EU, I am going to give to. Where are you? Um, well, I know Oki got most backstabbed. Now, who was it who was just getting completely annoyed? Dr. Frobisher Fanning wasn't doing well, and so was Altor, actually. Altor was having runs of bad luck here, and they're being stabbed chronically uh, at times. Anyway, guys, you know, thank you very much for turning up today. I am sorry about the lag. Uh, please complain about that in the uh, forums if you don't didn't like that either. And I wish you good luck and good games.